Hello, Via. This is the sewing of the six pieces cat, and um, I want to appeal to my subscriber friends and well wishers to bear with me in this video because of the Yoruba pigeon and English along the line that I use in the course of explanation. So, six pieces is very simple. If you have any question or clarification, put it in the comment box below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. So, guys. Um now now I'll be one so that uh, six pieces cat where will be done cut before. So these are the pieces. So the the matter for how I go to so this can be say as the front be three pieces. So I go carry the pieces where they center, can carry one of the pieces where be corner piece. I will come put uh, the right side they will come face each other and remember say when are they cut time that that time i mark some marking be say where i do like parallel line there are some marking for the other side where i do parallel line finish i come cross them so that marking the one parallel line where i cross you know go so i'm at all when you they join the pieces those parallel line where i cross belong to side same so you know go you know go sew those ones so you go join the other side will be only parallel line so you go come carry the pieces the center pieces and one corner piece you go come put them face to face like this sample where i hold for hand you go come put them face to face go face each other remember we are joining the inner journey those parallel line where i mark will no get crossing for body now you go put so as you put them face to face, you go come carry the lining at the same time, come do the same thing, come put face to face of the lining, put them together like this, come join them together, come put them together with the Ankara, go come put them like this, put them together, go come sew. So if you sew them, if you sew them, may I show you something? So let's assume say we don't sew her now. What I have to do beside we take pin hold her as if say we don't sew. Her. So now let's assume say now we don't sew. Her. This is the ankara face to face. This is the lining face to face. I can't put on top of each other. Can't sew. So it means say now four pieces now I sew together now. So may you look at what I want to show you now. So now you want open the ankara. You go open the ankara. One lining go go meet this one, the one where they under, then this lining go remain. This is how the thing go be. So what are they try to show you? Be say you go hide your sewing. You go hide it. You go hide all your sewing inside. So now the method na na I won't use. So this uh, six pieces, I won't hide all my sewing for the pieces except for the corner piece the two size seam now i no go hide my sewing for this video so i want me you understand this one where i don't explain so so dear viewers as i have said this is the three pieces of the front panel for the six pieces so this is corner piece and this is the one for center front so you put them down you put this one on top you are lying you go straight away way. so you go do the same thing with the lining the one way we want join together now the center front and the one way they corner the one way follow and way they by the side now we want join together now so the same way where we carry the ankara now the same way we go take carry the lining the lining go day down the ankara go day up but it go be two two face to face Lining to lining and kara to and kara. So I'm a mumere, I'm a mumbo, I'm a she, we go go edge, alright. So my own, my own daily. So timba tiron ton. So now I've sew it from here to here. So now I'm going to show you how the is hiding the sewing. So this is where I join. I hope you can see okay this is the joining now so I'm going to 
pull this corner piece and put this lining and hold it this way so by doing that it has it has hidden my sewing you can see you can see my sewing it's not showing so you can see it so they call it bashiri it's used to hide your sewing so i'm going to do the same thing to the other the other piece then so my dear viewers this is how the skirt is looking on the wrong side you can see i've put all my sewing inside you can see my sewing i've tucked it in with the lining and this is the right side this is the right side so i'm going to give it a good press and i'm going to sew my part uh, the three pieces for the back so dear viewers this is the back panel this is one of the piece in black uh, back panel so this is the corner piece this is the center back the center back is two so you use the lining of that center back you use it and turn it because that is where your zipper will be so it's here now so it just as if we put lining to lining ankara to ankara wrong right side facing right side right side of the lining facing right side then i'm going to sew so i'm going to do the other half the same way so after i do that i'm going to join it together on my zipper side so guys you see how it's looking this is the wrong side this is the um back panel you can see i've sewed it i've making the sewing i've covered it with the line the sewing inside and this is my zipper side but if you want to sew in this zipper side that means you sew the lining together you sew the ankara together then you the point of attachment will now be your zipper so in case if you don't want to join it the way i join it so now for the back panel if you want the back of your skirt to go deep inside at the back you see some skirts you see that at the back there's a hog it keys the nail side so this is what you will do this is our knee length so at the knee length you just take like a that of a half inch half inch inward and blend it back to your zipper allowance you blend it back to your zipper allowance at the upper side and at the downside but i'm not doing that i'm just going to leave the zip where i'm going to fit the zip i've measured it so i'm going to sew from here straight down to the end of the skirt so i'm not going to put a hog so if you want to put a hog on your skirt at the back you can go ahead and do yours so viewers if you want to give your sizing a neat finishing maybe you don't have a sizer that if you finish you size the sizing this is how you do you take the lining you take the ankara then you fold everything inside this way and put them together on the other side this way and so so i'm going to do it and, sh and show you so you are going to sew it so this is how it's looking after I sewed it inside. I sew it. So after that, I'm going to bring it out from here. I'm going to bring everything out. Bring it out. can see how the side is looking the side is looking neat i'm talking my the the raw edge is talking you can see the way it's looking so i'm going to do the other side the same way i'm going to pick it in case you didn't get the first one 
look at it this is the wrong side and this is the right side i want to make the right side and the right side to kiss so what will i do i'm going to flip it and put everything that i have on the skirt inside in such a way that right side and right side the liner and the akara we meet this way we meet so after the meet we have meet i'm going to sew then after sewing I'll so we have have sewed it so i'm going to bring it out i'm going to bring it out to the right side Okay, so you didn't get the first one. So here is it. This is how it's looking. There's no raw edges anywhere. You can see. You can see the the back panel of the skirt is my zipper allowance then on the down side you can see um since when i've been talking cutting this uh, six pieces i didn't talk about it when i finish i'm going to use this um leftover ankara um pleat it this way i'm going to pleat it all the um all the um design inside and flip it this way I'll use it and cover where the lining is. Then I'm going to use gum stay and iron it on it to give it a very perfect finishing. So you are not going to see any sewing on the right side of the six pieces. So that was my intention why I left these uh, pieces of Ankara and the lining to be shorter than the Ankara. So please take note of that. That is why I've not talked about it or touched it. So I'm just going to use it after I have finished the whole thing. That is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to use it and use a gum stay and give it a good press and use it to finish it to give it a perfect finishing on the downside of the six pieces. So this is the front panel. You can see this is the center front. It's uh, four. So her bust to bust. That's what we use here. And I'm going to measure her waist again. I'm going to measure her waist. I'm going to measure her hip. I'm going to measure her hip. And I'm going to measure her knee length and connect. That will guide me when I'm joining it. So this is the back panel too. I'm going to do the same thing. This is the zipper allowance. I've joined it. This is where the zipper will stop. And I'm going to measure the waist. Going to measure the waist going to measure the hip then i'm going to measure the knee length the same measurement i'll connect so um now i want to put the two pieces together back and front and make it to be one so guys this is how the skirt is looking now i'm joining to be one i've pulled the band so i'm going to fix the zipper I'm going to fix the zipper and after that our six pieces is ready so guys the center the center piece you can see what I'm saying the, the cuff of the knee length is not as sharp as the cuff on the four corner piece this 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 and this so it is this four corner piece that give the flare that is joined by the side is the one that give the volume the much volume of six pieces and um if this video is your deal breaker kindly share and um for order to benefits so i'm going to join the zipper and i'm going to give it a good press i'm not going to show how i finished it down i'm going to show it in a separate video if you want it 
I'll send it to you separately. So I'm just going to put uh, um, gums there and uh, use it and finish it up. So I'm going to show you the finishing look. Okay, this is the down part of it. This is how I first split it down. So I'm going to split it all the way and make sure that it it keeps my lining this way. Then I pin it down. Pin it down. I want to prime it for gum stay. So pin it down. So left plus this place. Just pin it in place. Pin it in place. If this is too bulky, you can trim some off before you tuck it in. Just try to be nice and smooth. to be nice and smooth I hope you see what I'm doing Pin it all the way see the down I've pinned it all the way so I'm going to take it to the steam iron and give it a good press first to secure all my folds and make it smooth and nice so after securing my fold i'm going to insert this in between I'm going to insert it this is a gum stay i'm going to uh, just open it and keep on inserting it when i'm inserting it i'll be steam ironing it until i done with the down parts so guys this is the six pieces you can see the way it's looking it's so full and elegant so at the party, six pieces kept on the way. And you push it back to, push it to the two. And you look. Thank you. 